Welcome back. The famous actor who made a lot of money playing the heartbreak role in movies met his soulmate decades before their romance blossomed. Here are the details about her and their relationship. After Richard Gere's first two marriages fell through, the actor decided he would no longer dabble in heart affairs or have more kids until he met that remarkable woman. His decision was easy considering how busy he's been as an actor. Eventually Gear really realised he had finally found his soulmate and the third wife, but after they welcomed their second child, he realised time was no longer on his side. Here is everything about the actor and his relationships. Gear was first married to a supermodel named Sidney Crawford from 1991 to 1995. After that relationship ended, the handsome actor tied the knot with Carrie Lowell and she welcomed their son, Homer. The two who tied the knot in 2020-2002 enjoyed martial bliss for several years, but in 2013 they split up, and three years later the contentious divorce was finalised. Gear found love again in 2014 when he got reunited with Alexandra Silva and started Davin. The couple tied the knot in a quiet ceremony in April 2018. The couple shares several things in common, including their religion and deep love for humanitarian work. In fact, Silva is a Spanish activist who runs Race Foundation, an outfit working hard to outlaw homelessness in Spain in five years. The socialite is very passionate about her work and is even admitted to sleep on the street just to experience what the homeless feel. Given the huge age gap between Gear and Silva, some would expect there to be some friction, especially since he's a Hollywood star. However, Gear once revealed that because of their karmic energies and how well they blend together, all the problems that could have been threatened their relationship have disappeared to leave only their love burning bright as can be. He said he became a family friend, but when they met again, she had become a woman and he had been in search of his soulmate. Silver, who thinks the universe has been conspiracy to keep her and Gear together, said they were immediately attracted to one another when they reunited. It didn't take long for them to figure out how right they fit but they chose to keep everything under wraps until 2015, when they were pictured getting all lovey-dovey in Sicily, where they attended the Taramini Film Festival. They seemed to be very much in each other, and but it took years before they decided to commemorate their bond with a wedding ceremony. The romantic affair went down in a ranch gear owned, and they later kept the celebration going in May, when they hosted a wedding party on Cinzo di Maya and Gear's estate in Pound Ridge, New York. Speaking about her favourite things about the actor, Silva said, What I love most about him is his humanitarian side. He's a very empathetic person. Silva loves Gear for plenty of reasons, some of which have already been mentioned. However, another factor contributing to how deep that love is has to do with what he's done for her. Indeed, the publicist opened up about how she has been lost before he came along to show her the light and her true path. The couple welcomed their second child in 2020, They silently moved into a luxurious mansion he brought secretly the same year. News of the pregnancy was revealed when Silva shared a photo of herself, heavy with their first son, visiting the De La Lama alongside Gear, who is a long-time friend of Tibet's exiled spiritual leader, Daija Lama. The arrival of their second child was a cause for joy, but it also reminded Gear of how quickly his time is running out. Having had his second child at 70, the actor now 72 is concerned he may not live to see his kids grow up. When they had their first kid, he became aware of how difficult it would be to raise a young one, but that didn't stop him from making another baby with Silver, whom he promised at least 20 good years. Despite his age, Silver says he keeps her on her toes, and sometimes she finds it hard to keep up with him, so hopefully the talented man still has a couple of decades left to live. Thank you for listening. Please tell us your thoughts.